Oh my God, guys, we're really in serious, serious trouble here. It is January 22nd, 2015. Didn't the Americans win their vote to get Republicans to control the House and Senate? And part of that was they wanted control of the border. You know, they didn't like the fact that Obama and his administration and the Democrats were just allowing hundreds and hundreds of thousands of illegals to cross over from Mexico. And wasn't that also part of many of those Republicans campaigning? Wasn't it part of their speech, you know, to stop the illegals from crossing the border? We've got to secure our border. And, well, we all know that there's only one party. But so many Americans are still actually believing that there are two parties and, and they, they do this every like two or four years. Okay, I'll vote for this party because they say that and I'll vote for that party because they say this and, and nothing they ever say actually manifests. Actually, what has happened in the last couple of years is that they give their campaign speeches and then immediately, immediately, they do the opposite of what they said they were going to do. We're going to fight for you. We're going to close that border. We're going to secure that border. New GOP border security bill removes border fences. They're removing the border fences. And this is a very short article, but oh my God. Okay, the new border bills drafted by Republican leaders require the actual removal of at least 66 miles of weak border fencing between laborers in Mexico and employers in the United States. Did we have that weak border fence up to allow everybody else in except for laborers in Mexico and employers in the United States? Why did we put up such a weak border fence? And why are Americans still paying for all of this crap that they do in Washington? The border bills also only require for the construction of, of 27 miles of effective double layer fencing along the 2,000 mile border. Do I have to read that again? This border bill only requires the construction of 27 miles of effective double layer fencing along a 2,000 mile border. Okay. Do you see what's wrong with that picture? All right. That leaves a whole lot of miles with no fence. So a Hill staffer actually said, it is remarkable that the direction of our progress is going backwards from a goal of building 700 miles of double layer border fencing in 2006 to only 27 miles in 2015. This is a Republican bill. This is from all of those Republicans who said that they were going to secure the border. Where the double layer fence has been put in, it has worked spectacularly. <laughs> the public is with us 80 to 90 percent on this issue. Okay, 80, 90, ah, just throw out a number, it doesn't matter. But no, actually, the public is not with you because I actually heard a lot of screaming about those Americans who were voting for Republicans based on their campaign speeches where they were saying that they were going to secure the border and enforce immigration laws. See, it's easy. It's actually easy. It's actually easy. All we have to do is enforce those immigration laws that we had on the books, you know, prior to that grossly illegal act that Obama took signing an executive order on this border issue, allowing immigrant uh, uh, illegals to enter the country. Extra fencing would be a waste of money. Yeah, thank you. 
thank you for that. Yeah, it sure would. It sure would be a waste of money to only put up a fence 27 miles long when you have a border that is 2,000 miles long. But why did we have such weak fencing of only 66 miles that now <laughs> your money is going to be taking down? Your money put it up. Your money is going to be taking it down. Your money is going to be putting up this double fence of only 27 miles, and it will not be effective. Okay. We know that this goes on every single day in Washington. It is, do we have people in Washington that are so incredibly stupid that they would actually do this? Or is something else going on? Because it is blatantly obvious that what they are doing now is just putting it in your face how moronic our congressional leaders are. And are they doing it purposely just to see how awake Americans are? Do they do this purposely to inflame anger in the American people? I don't know. I don't know, but it does seem to me an easy solution, just enforce immigration laws. That way, you can actually keep out a whole lot of illegals crossing the border. So what is all of this fence stuff? 27 miles long. Okay, enough for me. I'd love to hear what you have to think about this. Have a great day, guys.